What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive rank double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing a Wellspring Ogre Pond team to actually help you guys push high ranks in Master Tier in Regulation E. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But as of October 1st, right now, as the time I'm recording this, it is October 2nd, but Regulation E on the rank ladder is now live. So I want to be bringing you guys some really, really strong teams to help you guys push the rank ladder. And Regulation E is kind of not that different from Regulation D. I feel like it is just like Regulation D, but with Ogre Pond in it, right? A lot of the regulation d pokemon are really strong will boom got a buff so you're gonna be seeing him a lot more used in regulation e but i feel as this regulation is more just ogre pond mixed in with regulation d this ogre pond is absolutely amazing and the regulation d pokemon pair up super super well with it but our first pokemon for today's team preview is going to be tornadus it's got prankster and the covert cloak tailwind scary face bleak windstorm and rain dance to help ogre pond do a massive amount of damage we got Shen Pao in our second slot with Swords of Ruin and Focus Ash, Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch, Protect, and Sacred Sword. In our third slot is going to be Ogre Pond. You're going to be seeing Ogre Pond all across the Regulation E ladder, considering it is that strong. This one has Water Absorb as its ability, with the Wellspring Mask as its item. It's got Ivy Cudgel with Follow Me, Spiky Shield, and Grassy Guide to pair up with that Rillaboom's Grassy Surge. Speaking of Rillaboom, that's our next Pokemon in that fourth slot with Grassy Surge and Assault Vest, with Fake Out, Wood Hammer, Grassy Guide for first turn priority, and High Horsepower for a nice coverage move. In our fifth slot, we got Protosynthesis and Booster Energy Flutter Mane with Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, Icy Wind for a bit more speed control, and last but not least, it is Rocking Protect. In our final slot, we got Choice Specs Golden Go, which is very situational, but a very strong Pokemon at the same time. It's got Good as Gold as its ability, and then the four moves it is rocking out with is Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Power Gem. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rent the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on the Regulation E ladder and try to showcase this team. We're hopping into match number one, and something that I forgot to mention during the team preview was a huge shout out to the team creator, ScootZ. Thank you so much for making this team. If you guys want this rental code, if you guys want the Poke Pace, head down to the link in the description below to his channel. Drop a little sub, show him some jeans loving over there. And if he has plenty of other rental teams, so if you guys need regulation E rental teams, they're over on his channel. But we're hopping into our first match, going up against a Wellspring Ogre Pond team, just like us, alongside with Ting Lu, Moltres, Fluttermane. Then he's got Thunderous, probably Prankster's Thunderous, and Bronze on. How should I lead this one? How should I play? I definitely want to bring Ogre Pond in here, and I might lead it with the Real Boom, because it's not that bad. Pairing it up with the Grassy Terrain, all that good stuff. But I think Speed is going to be a good friend of ours, so Tornadus should definitely come in here as the lead. So I'm going to end up leading Tornadus. And on top of that, do I just go Ogre Pond as lead? Or I could go Real Boom, maybe just Fake Out, get a turn like that. That's not bad, but I'd rather save uh, Real Boom pair up with Ogre Pond. So I'm thinking of just back ending Ogre Pond and Rillaboom. Maybe just leading a Pokemon like Fluttermane. Or even Goldigo. Goldigo's not bad. Or even Shen Pao. Because who do I think they're gonna lead? Who do I think they're gonna lead? Probably Thunderous, right? Thunder's definitely an option. Same thing with Bronze Song. So you know I'm just gonna go Golden Go here. Golden Go can cover a lot here. And then we'll go Ogre Pond and Rillaboom as back end Pokemon. Because they work out really well together. They both have Grass Glide. I could set the terrain they have no way of taking out terrain, and it just works perfect, right? Unless, unless, unless Thunderous has Electric Terrain on its move set, but most of the time, you don't you don't really see that, right? Unless they have a bunch of Quirk Draft Pokemon, which they don't, so we'll see. They go Thunderous, they go Ting Lu. They go Golden Go and Tornado. So special attack is dropped. Kind of hurts Soul, but from here, um, I think Tailwind's gonna be a good friend of ours. So I'm gonna go Tailwind. And I'm just going to choice into a power gym here. It's probably your best bet, right? I'm just ripping into this thing. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I am definitely cool with that. And did I terrestrialize? I know I clicked the terror button just to see it's terror, but I don't remember unclicking it. Okay, cool. I did unclick it. And I'm going for an eerie impulse. And they forget I'm good as gold. I do that sometimes. So that works out perfectly. I get off a nice tailwind. Power gem might not KO considering special attack drops here from Ting Lu. But still, should do a nice chunk of damage to the slingers. Yeah, see, so beautiful, awesome, cool. EQ is now gonna fly, which is not a big deal. I mean, it kind of is because Golden Ghost is gonna take some of this damage here. Might even die to it, but we'll see. No, it does survive. So beautiful. Nice little survive there. I can now pop a Bleak Windstorm, which do I think it's gonna KO Thunders? 
Maybe not. It might not. But I'm choosing the power gem regardless, so I'm just gonna double down on Thunderous here. But if Bleak Wind Storm doesn't KO, then we can just KO Thunderous to get rid of it and deal with that Ting Lu a bit later. And we'll go from there. The chances are that Ting Lu is probably like Poison Terror type. Right? If I had to guess. So, I was gonna say, I have Ogre Pond and Roland in the back end, Grass and Water Moves. And if it is Poison Terror, I think I have high horsepower for coverage on Wilbur, which is really nice. Which is beautiful. The Bleak Wind Storm's gonna end up missing here. We got some speed cooking. But our choice moves a little eh. The Golden Go surviving that rock slide. That's beautiful. We love that. We love Golden Go getting extra turn. Did I crit my Tornadus? Tornadus speed is down to, to Thunder Wave. It's back to normal, I believe. And Fluttermane's now gonna come out here. The Fluttermane out here, I believe Golden Go. Golden Go. Can you outspeed that Fluttermane? What's your speed at? You should be able to. The thing's not booster energy or anything. Plus, I mean, I could scary face it too. Which I'm gonna do just in case. I'm just gonna double down into it. It protects, it protects. And he ends up withdrawing Ting Lu. So Ting Lu gets to withdraw here. That's fine by me. And Moltres is now gonna come out here. So I really like our po our back end Pokemon up against their back end Pokemon. So we're gonna do a nice chunk of damage over here onto Fluttermane. And I believe he picks up a double kill with probably a Dazzling Gleam, right? Yeah. So Dazzling Gleam comes out here and there's a double kill. So now I got Ogre Pond. And I also have Rillaby in tail. So what I'm thinking here is Grassy Glide will KO from Rillaboom onto the Fluttermane. And then we can just mask up with Ogre Pond with our Terra. And probably just drop an Ivy Cudgel, right? Because what Terra type do we think the burn is? What Terra type? I mean, Ivy Cudgel is going to do a insane amount of damage regardless. Regardless if he Terra is saying the even Grass type. So I'm cool with this. So I bring out the real boom. I am faster. I actually have Tailwind turn. So if I want to go into like a wood hammer to make sure I KO, I could do that, right? Because we did scary face it. So we did definitely scary face. So that could work out perfectly. So yeah, I'm definitely masking up. We're going Ivy Cudgel into the slot. And let me make sure. Yeah, you're minus two on speed. This is an all day wood hammer play. This is all they would hammer. So they could protect. You never know. He ends up withdrawing Fluttermane, which is totally fine. It's definitely totally fine because I got two physical attackers on the field. Wood hammer into, uh, into Ting Lu's massive amount of damage. We like it a lot. And are you terrestrializing the bird? Yeah, the bird's getting the terror. Oh, no, that's me. That's me terrestrializing. That's me putting my mask on. The Wellspring Ogre Pond gets the mask. This Pokemon is insane in regulation -y. It really is. Any form of mask. But I think the water and the fire ones are in the top two. You don't really see the rock one, the grass one you do. It ends up protecting, which, I mean, that's totally fine. It's not that big of a deal. It's really not that big of a deal. Considering they swapped that, but they wouldn't speed back. But at that point, I could just grassy glide the uh, flutter main. Woodhammer's gonna fly here. Bop, big time damage. Almost KO in the Ting Lu. And we'll take some recoil. And I get back some HP though. That's cool. So from here, I'm just going to simply Grassy Glide into the uh, Ting Lu. And we can go from there. And just Ivy Cudgel this thing again. So Ivy Cudgel comes out here, Grassy Glide, just in case Moltres is going for like Heat Wave, he can outspeed us. But I like where we're sitting, they just cancel battle, and there it is. They knew it was over, 1-0 to get us started on the rank ladder. Second match is on its way, and we had a great first match. We saved Ogre Pond and Rillaboom combo for the back end, and then our opponent realized, hey, there's nothing I can do about this. I'm going to lose this one, and they ended up canceling the battle. But we're hopping into our second match, looking to go back to back. They got Shen Pao, also rocking out with Wo Chen, who is a great Pokemon, especially up against my team, right? I mean, Fluttermane is going to be a great Pokemon, but I have a lot of physical attackers. They also have Dragonite, they got Landorus with a nice little Intimidate, and then they got King Gambit with Fluttermane. So from here, I feel as they're going to either lead an Intimidate Pokemon or Wu Chen. So coming in with Fluttermane is going to be a nice little lead, and then taking speed on top of that with Tornadus is going to be lovely. Actually, I mean, I don't have to. I can just stick with Icy Wind from Fluttermane, right? That could actually work out well. So instead of wasting a slot for support, we could just go full on attack and maybe just go Golden Go, right? I can definitely get down with Golden Go. Go Fluttermane, Golden Go again, and then bring Ogre Pond and Shen Pao, or Ogre Pond and Rillaboom. What would work better? 
I think Shen Pao will work a little bit better. We got the Sucker Punch that is going to do some big time damage onto the Dragonite. It's first turn priority as well. And we have uh, Secret Sword, which I love. So you know what? Yeah, that's my lead. This is going to be my lovely little lead. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to win here in match number one. Well, not match number one. Match number two. Back to back. We're looking to go back to back, which would be awesome to start off a brand new season 2-0. And, and probably go into Ultra Ball tier, right? Because I start off in Great Ball tier with the hard reset. And I won one, so I'm about like halfway up. I think if I win two, I go right in the Ultra Ball tier. And then if I win through four, I th usually four in a row, I think, puts you straight in the Master Ball tier. But it usually takes me about... 10 battles, I should say, to actually get all the way back into Master Ball tier. Maybe sometimes more, considering you lose some. Sometimes things don't go your way. But he ends up leading an Intimidate Pokemon. I'm cool with that. Um, Gambit's a little bit of a problem. Gambo is a little bit of a problem. I mean, I, I have I have the Icy Moon. Icy Moon's going to be four times super effective onto Lando, which is not bad. So I'm thinking of dropping that. Because I am straight Fairy Terror, yeah. Which kind of hurts because they can rip into me, but Icy Wind's still going to be great. Oh, he could be Defiant, too. He could indeed be Defiant. I just Terra do this. But I really don't want to waste my Terra. I think I'm just going to Moonblast into you. Actually, let's do a Terra Moonblast? I kind of want to save my Terra type. Actually, no, let's Terra Moon Blast here. Let's do as much damage as we possibly can in this slot. And then just rock. Let's just rock and make it rain. Let's just rock and make it rain. Instead of Icy Winding, we're just straight up attacking this King Gambit. Because like I said, King Gambit's a bit of a problem. Really is a bit of a problem. Plus, if we Icy Wind, it's going to get the Defiant boost. And I'm not, I'm not trying to deal with that, right? I'm really not trying to deal with a plus two King Gambit. Ready to drop Sucker Punch and just take me out. I'm going to Terrasilize, he's going to end up protecting me. That's totally fine. Hopefully he don't double protect. No, he doesn't. Cool. So no double protect comes out here. We are straight up attacking this King Gambit. And we're getting off a decent amount of damage, but it's rather bulky. It's rather bulky. It is a rather bulky Pokemon. Maybe we should just hard swap the Golden Go. But we're still chunking up some damage here. And what are you going for? Iron Head? Kowtow Cleave? Kowtow Cleave take out the Golden Go, which is totally fine. I'd actually rather you... Attack the Golden Go rather than the, the Flutter Me. It ends up taking me out here. Um, now is a good turn to bring out Ogre Pond or Shen Pao? Hmm. I think we just go in the Shen Pao here. I think we just go in the Shen Pao, and I believe he's going to swap the Lando. Seeing Shen Pao on the field, right? I'd swap Lando. I'd be like, yo, let me swap Lando. And he has... What kind of Pokemon does he have? Who could he swap into? That's a tough... That's a tough problem. It's like, who am I going to swap into? Maybe Shen Pao? Hmm. But you know what? I'll Dazzle and Gleam up on this. And on top of that, I will just take a sword this slot. I wish Dazzle and Gleam could KO, but it can't. I think Lando might get the swap. Yep. Oh no, it's gonna be you! That's a little that's a little weird. You're getting the swap. What are you going into? Because I'm throwing a Sacred Sword and Dazzle Gleam out here. Okay, Sacred Sword is gonna do to do nothing. And you're gonna get a Proto Synthesis boost. I mean I could sucker punch the extra, which is great. Rock Slide might fly here, which is kinda scary. But Gleam should be able to do a nice chunk of damage on the both of them. Beautiful. Yeah, Sucker Punch will definitely kill the Flutter Mane. The rock slide's gonna get cooking here. Shen Pao dodge it. Love it. So Shen Pao still has his focus ash. Flutter Man taking a nice chunk of damage. And I think from here, I think Icy Wind will probably KO you. So I'm just gonna go Icy Wind. Nice lovely sucker punch. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So I still have the Ogre Pond in the back end. No Terra. I don't have Terra. But they also have Terra. And now would be a turn to like Terrasilize maybe in the fairy here. Maybe I should have just went for Dazzling Gleam. I think I should have, but Icy Wind's pretty solid here. Because Icy Wind's going to chuck up damage onto Lando all day, but he ends up swapping Lando. How dare you swap Lando. And you're going to go back into your Pokemon? Yeah, so he's going to get a Defiant boost, but you are going to be stubborn. So I can punch you to come out here, KO. But unless this thing is Supreme Overlord, King Gambit, which is going to slow down. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. 
Now I slow it down. I could just Moonblast for a KO. Speed's gonna drop. Are you Defiant? You are Defiant. It's a nice plus two on attack, which is... It's really scary. Sucker Punch on this thing, terrible. We, we don't really want to deal with it. We really don't want to deal with it. So from here, I do have Focus Ash, which is great. I might double down into Gambo. I might double down into that. Just, like, it's it's a problem. Plus two is a problem. He goes back into Lando, who I think he has to save his Terra type, right? I feel like the Terra has to go into the slot. Not too sure. But from here, I'm just going to Gleam, and I'm just going to Ice Spinner. Or I could just take a sword. The take a sword's going to KO you. Yeah. You think Moonblast can KO this thing? Because I would rather go Moonblast and Ice Spinner in this slot. And that's what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So we're going to see a nice lovely Terra come out here, and I wonder who it's going to be. I really do wonder who it's going to be. It's going to be Gambit. The Gambit gets a Terra type, and he goes straight dark. The Moonblast is going to KO, but I know he's looking to go for Sucker Punch. I know, I know this is a Sucker Punch play all day. He's looking to just dump on me here. The Sucker Punch coming in here into Fluttermane slot. Can you eat this? Cannot. Not very effective. It's still ripping. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. Ice Spinner will KO the Lando, which is massive. And from here, what do we do? What do we do? Because we got we got the Ogre Pond. Of course you're Rocky Helmet too, so you take off my Focus Sash. But we have the Ogre Pond. We don't have Sash anymore, which sucks. It's terrible. And I might just Spiky Shield too. I might just Spiky Shield and try to get rid of that thing right there. And you're scary too. And now, oh my god, now Sucker Punch is just boosted. But honestly, if you're going for Sucker Punch, I can just follow me the shots. And then I can just Sacred Sword this. I'm cool with that. I'm very cool with that. We're trying. We're trying here. So I follow me. If you're going for Sucker Punch, it's going to do nothing, which would be beautiful. And you are. So Big Time Follow Me comes out from the uh, Ogre Pond. And he's going to Sacred Sword this slot. Okay, that's fine. I Sacred Sword you. And now we get after. Okay, so now this turns into a 2v1 situation. A nice, lovely 2v1. But he already showed that he outspeeds me, which is kind of rough. So the real question is... Do I go for follow me? Do I spiky shield? I think I might just go up for Ivy Cudgel and a Sucker Punch. Just to chunk up damage. Do we just take a sword him? I say we Sucker Punch. I say even though it's not very effective, get off as much damage as we possibly can. Because if he's Sacred Sorting us, that is just a bit too much damage. You end up throw chopping me. Wow, so I might have blew that one. I might have blew that one. I might have blew that one. I thought he'd be going after Shen Pao. The Sacred Sword comes out. Can we eat this? No, we don't. I might have blew that one. Not too sure. But he did have Focus Ash regardless. So, I mean, I would have had to go for a Spiky Shield like I was thinking. But one and one solid second match comes down to Shen Pao versus Shen Pao. Final match coming at you guys. We're sitting one and one. Definitely probably should have just Ivy Cudgeled alongside with Sacred Sword in that last match, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We lost that one. We're one and one. We're going up against another Grimstrong team. Been seeing a ton of Grimstrongs as recently. Alongside with uh Rigoraf, Basque Legion, Blood Moon, Ursaluna, Shen Pao, and Arcanine. So I think they're gonna try to pop a trick room. It's definitely an option. They also have an intimidate Pokemon, so maybe I want to lead a Pokemon, maybe like Fluttermain. Would not be bad. Arcanine's a little bit of a problem because I kind of want to lead it with Golden Go. But I'm going to lead Fluttermane and I'm also going to lead... Do I lead Golden Go? I mean, if they lead Arcanine, then we're sitting a little bit of a problem. But I do have Icy Wind and Power Gem, which is not bad. So you know what? We'll go Fluttermane. We'll go Golden Go. Ogre Pond in the back end alongside with Rillaboom. Yeah, I like Rillaboom more than Shen Pao. Especially in this situation. Set the grass terrain. 
I can legit just double grassy glide out. Just bang, 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 bang. Just start teeing off. I love it. But we're one and one. I would love to win this match right here. Go two and one and grab ourselves a winning record to get this season started off. But maybe we might lose this one. You never know. You never know. But again, I would love to, I would love to just win it. Start off with a nice little winning record. So they're going to end up leading Grimstar and Frigraph. So my lead, mwah, it's beautiful. We love this lead. We love this lead. They could potentially pop Trick Room. I think I just make it rain and maybe just move less into Frigraph. Just to double down and try to KO it. Like, obviously, Light Screen is probably the play here. But I, 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 like, I like this. I like this. I'm not even going to overthink it. This is just Moon Blast into Make It Rain. But yeah, like I said, uh, Light Screen probably going to come out here. But we still should be able to do a nice chunk of damage, right? Especially into Grimstar, I'll super effective. We might not be able to KO the Frigraph. Frigraph is rather bulky, especially behind screens. Like, yeah, see, we're not going to be able to K KO Frigraph, but still, the damage output is beautiful. We get rid of Grimstar. We do some damage onto Ferrigi. And we'll go from there. We shall go from there. So there's the room full of tricks. Ursaluna probably coming out here. And, and Ursaluna, mm, looking a little tough. But again, big time reason why I brought in Rillaboom and Ogre Pond. First turn priority is going to be massive when I bring them in the back end. So Ursaluna comes out here. Um, I think I just Moon Blast into you and just make it ring. Actually, make it rain should KO you, so I might as well just go like Moon Blast into this slot and just make it rain across the board. Could go for a ground move. Ground is looking a little scary. You guys are going for Helping Hand. Helping Hand EQ, maybe? What are you going for? What are you doing? You're scaring me, man. Hyper Voice. Help okay, that's fine. My Pokemon are able to soak that. That works out beautifully. Make it rain is going to fly here. Bop. Some nice, lovely damage. And Moon Blast is also going to be a couple, so I like this a lot. I like where we're sitting here. I don't really know who their final Pokemon is, but I'm chunking up damage here. I'm chunking up damage. See, like, EQ would be massive on this thing. Now he's going to send out his final Pokemon. It's going to be Basket Legion. He's looking a little scary, but... Definitely going to try to get rid of Ursaloon here. I'm just going to double down because I like my back end Pokemon. They're pretty much perfect for this matchup. So I think we're going to clean this one up pretty quickly, not have a long battle here. Go three, or not three, no. Go two and one. So Terra comes out here from Ursulino, which I would have thought they would have Terra normal last turn, considering they use Hyper Voice. And Aqua Jet's going to fly here and almost KO us. Almost KO us. Hyper Voice is still going to fly here. I'm surprised he didn't do that last turn. But it ends up coming out this turn. But I'm totally cool with all this. I got the combo in the back end. Rillaboom and Ogre Pond is just nasty. Considering it learns Grass God, it's just like, that move is so, it's it's one of the best moves in the game. I, I would call it broken. Because not only is it strong enough by itself, it gets first turn priority in the grass terrain. And on top of that, it gets a damage boost in the grass terrain. So it's just massive. So if you have anybody who's grass type with the stab boost, it is just it's just too much damage to handle. It really is. It really is. So from here, I might just tear it and get the uh, boost here and finish off you and then just have a fake out come in this slot. Just a chip up some damage, but I think they cancel. I really do. Like, if I, if I saw this come out in the back end, I'm like, God dang. This is a problem. This is a big time problem. A big time problem. And it works so well for counter tricking because it's all first turn priority, it's all stab moves, it's all getting damage boost. It's just insane. But I'm going to Terrasilize the Ogre Pond, and the reason being, I want the plus one attack. I want this thing to do an immense amount of damage. Just slap it on people. And plus, the mass looks sick. I get the Embody Aspect, and I'm ready to go. He ends up protecting you. That's fine. That's fine, because the Spasky Legion better be Sash or it's a goner. The Spasky Legion better be Sashed, or it's a goner. This is just gonna aqua jet my little boom. Which we soak all day. Rest guy coming out here. Bop. See you later. Get it on out of here. You gone, and now I can just double grass guy and it's game set. Match. Or I could do something a bit cooler. An Ivy Cudgel. Actually, I'd rather not. Because if this thing hits me with a hyper voice, I could be dead. So I'm just gonna play this one safe. Double down with grass guide. I forgot Trick Room was still in effect. So one grass guy comes out here. Let's not forget about the second grass guide. And wait a minute. Why is that going before? 
Why is that going before my grassy glide? Hold up. Wait, yo. Is Blood Moon first turn priority? I don't think it is. Is it? It could be. Why? Why did that not? Why? I'm confused. I'm confused here. I'm a little confused. Let me read up on it. Did they, did they change the move? Move info. Gliding around the user attacks target. This move always goes first on Grassy's terrain. Now somebody tell me why. That Blood Moon came out beforehand. I'm so confused. There's got to be a reason behind it. Is Blood Moon first on priority? I got to... Let me look up Blood Moon real quick. Maybe I just don't know that much about it. Blood Moon move. I want to read it real quick before this happens. Move. But I'm going to drop a, a wood hammer here. That should outspeed. Super high base power allows to take advantage of great ability. This move has similar drawback to Gigaton Hammer. It just makes no sense. Why? Somebody let me know in the comment section down below. I'll just make this easy for my life. Let me know in the comment section down below. But I'm going to pop a wood hammer here. I outspeed. That's game set match. No problem. No problem. But I'm just upset that grass guy didn't go through. We still go 2-1. and one. We grab ourselves a win here in match number 3. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 and one with this team right here. And like I said in the beginning of the video, this is a straight meta team. So one of the better teams in Regulation E. If you guys want to rent this team, rent the code is at top right hand corner. But I loved everything about it. The Shen Pao, brand new Rillaboom pair up really, really well. Fluttermane Golden going Tornadus pair up really well as well. And then Ogre Pond, Rillaboom, and Ogre Pond Shen Pao are just two of the combos that you guys can rock out with with this team to help you guys win the matches. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know all of my videos go live but seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positivity today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody